All right, welcome back. We can see you live. Bob Pompiani and Paul Zeiss with you. And let's get right to it. We got line three. Tony in the Hill District. Go ahead, Tony. What's up? Hello, Rob. Hi, Paul. How you doing? We're good, thanks. Um, I just want to say out of the four games of the um, Penguins game that I watched, I was really amazed on how many shots they missed in the goals. What, what did you mm. guys think? I, I don't think their defense showed up at all. Well, first of all, you're talking about the Penguins missed a lot of shots, and that's because yeah. they were packing it in. The Islanders had yeah. there were no lanes, and they're trying to make a shot, and there was nowhere to go, Paul. And so as a result, they're trying to pick spots, and it just looked ugly. Yeah, it did. And then it, it's really disappointing when you get some shots, like Kessel got the one, and the defenseman stopped yeah, it with his Mayfield. leg, and then oh. and, and uh, Sidney Crosby hit the post. I mean, they they've had they had a couple of opportunities against the Islanders. You got to put those in because you're not going to get a lot of good looks, and that's what happened. Like you said, they shot a lot from the perimeter because they couldn't get it inside or get it to where they needed to get it to have really good looks. So what would it be like if it was the Islanders, Barry Trotz against the Caps, who got rid of basically Barry Trotz? That would be fun. That would be fun. It would be, but again, I, like the, I would like the Capitals in that series. I don't know what I'd like. Uh, that would be, the Islanders showed me a lot. They really did. And I think Columbus is, is, is capable of beating the other two teams, but I, I think Boston was my pick for start. I predicted Boston would get to the Stanley Cup Finals, so I'm going to have to stick with that, I suppose, because I said it. Let's go out to Fred in Johnstown. What's up, Fred? How are you? Hey, Bob. How are you doing tonight? We're good tonight. Thank you. Just keep things in perspective. I think a lot of people forget this. We've made the playoffs for like 13 straight years. The Islanders, this is their first playoff series win in, what, 26 years? Long time, yeah. But the, but the point is, problem. the Penguins, the Penguins, keeping us, I understand, because I tweeted the same thing. I think it's a wonderful 13 year run and all that, but you still can be critical because this team was set up to go farther. This team was set up with its high priced talent and top end talent to do a lot more. Right, Paul? I mean, they were. I just, so you can I, have both. I, I think the history is ridiculously not important at all. This is a, you know, it's a, what have you done? I, I, I it's, what have, it's what have you, what have you done what lately? Was... What have you done for me lately? I mean, just because you won the Super Stanley Cup a couple of times, that doesn't mean you're above criticism. It doesn't mean that you. I didn't say that, but well, I, think, saying, I think it's still it's, relevant. It's great. It's I understand great that. They've run. run 13 years and that's been wonderful, but we're talking about this year and this year they didn't get it done. No, they didn't. And they deserve criticism because it's the way that they lost. They've been showing this tendency all season long. Breakdowns, right. odd man but breaks, I, I've just heard that with the puck, yeah. and it's same thing, reared its ugly head in the playoffs. I've just heard that too much over the last 24, 48 hours. Don't criticize them at all. They don't, I mean, you, they, you can criticize them for what they did this year. Right. That's all I'm saying. But I still, you know, I'm, I'm one of those who looks at what they got with this core group, and they've, it's been a pretty it's successful It's been great. It's been, it's, it's been a great run. to me, run. it's very much right. like what we saw with the Kings and the Blackhawks. And now you have to retool a little bit. The Kings are still far away. The Blackhawks have made some shrewd moves. Don't be surprised if they're a playoff team again next year. We're due for a break. We'll take it back with more after this.